Today I'll show you how to duplicate an object around a circle. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make a circle. So I'll get out the ellipse tool, and then I'll hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a perfect circle. Then I'll put the circle in the center of the document by clicking and dragging on the edge of the circle. And if you're not getting these snapping lines, just make sure you have snapping turned on, which is this magnet icon at the top. Next, I'll make a triangle, which is what I'll be duplicating around the circle. Then I'll place this triangle right above the circle. Next, we need to change the rotation point of the triangle, because right now, the triangle just rotates around itself, but we want it to rotate around the circle. So to change its rotation point, we first need to press on this little crosshair icon in the context toolbar. Now we can see the triangle's rotation point. From here, we can just move this rotation point to the center of the circle. Now when we rotate the triangle, it rotates around the circle. Okay, now comes the fun part. First, duplicate the triangle by pressing Ctrl-J on a PC or Command-J on a Mac. Then, rotate the triangle while holding Shift, which keeps your rotation in 15 degree increments. This makes it easy to rotate the triangle exactly 30 degrees. Now, all we need to do is duplicate the triangle again with Command or Control J, and each duplicate copy will be rotated an additional 30 degrees. This little trick is called Power Duplicate, and it's one of my favorite features in Affinity Designer. It lets you change the size or position of a duplicate object, and then repeat that change over and over as you make more duplicates. And now that we've finished duplicating, we can delete the circle if we no longer want it. And with that, we're done! Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.